Hi. Hi there. Um, this is Ananda Suying, and this is this week's Oracle card reading. It's an energetic reading for all of us, for the collective, and it's for the week commencing Monday, the 16th of September. So we are approaching the autumn equinox, yeah, where we have a balance of night and day, whether we're in the southern hemisphere or whether we're in the northern hemisphere. Okay, but for the northern hemisphere, it's the autumn equinox. For the southern hemisphere, it's the spring equinox. So the three decks that um, I'm using today. So the first set of cards, the three, the first three cards are from this deck. The Crystal Oversoul Attunements by Michael Eastwood. It's a beautiful set of cards and beautifully... Um, beautifully displayed crystals they're absolutely beautiful cards as well okay so the first three which give us the the sort of the, the flavor of what's going on for us this week is from that deck crystals and one is from the mary magdalene oracle that's by megan waterson and also one from the herbal astrology oracle by adriana ayales Okay, so this is the first time I'm using um, crystals for the, the sort of main bulk of the reading as such. Um, so I'm going to read them from the point of view of just some of my understanding of these crystals, but also because of the color. So the first card from the first deck, so this is the first of the three, is Citrine. It's absolutely beautiful. If you can get your hands on a, an, a natural, therefore it's not heat treated, it's not amethyst heat treated or, or a light citrine heat treated, if you can get yourself a really bright golden one, they're, they're quite rare I think and probably very very expensive um, and possibly made into gemstones. If you can, this is a most wonderful stone. It's one of my most favorite stones, citrine. And citrine is the stone of abundance, of wealth, of prosperity. And it's also it also brings a lot of joy. It brings a lot of happiness. So here, where if you are experiencing wonderful prosperity in all in all your life whether it's um, an abundance of beautiful relationships and a wealth of cash and money and and if you have a wealth as well of creativity and ideas and you're flowing and everything is moving along beautifully that's wonderful so this is a this is a this is also a promise that there is this this week yeah there is this this week but it very much depends on how we are how we feel about prosperity whether we feel we deserve it whether we feel it's easy for us to get you know it's our birthright and you don't have to basically work so hard that you're knackered every day and you wish you know you wish you weren't chasing that that dream Okay, so this is this the, the so this is this is asking us, yeah. If you've got all the prosperity that you want at this moment, wonderful, celebrate, celebrate. You know, have have be really really joyful and grateful for it, and express your gratitude. Perhaps share it if you like in whatever manner you may like, so that it generates um it generates more and more wealth for you because there is movement, yeah. Um, but it's also asking us now where might you be restricting this for yourself what are you thinking about wealth why do you think you may not um, deserve it what what is in you which is saying no to all of this to all of this invitation and all of this wonder and all the joy and the freedom it can bring so for me citrine is very much about freedom as well it's gold or yellow light gold sometimes it can be very very subtle um quartz slight sort of yellow goldy quartz 
or bright gold. I've seen wonderful bright gold, but it's my friend, so I can't, can't buy it. Um, and it works on the solar plexus. So it's also to do with will and intention. Yeah? So we're also being asked, well, what is it you want to create? Because we're coming up to the equinox, we're asked to balance, so balance of giving and receiving. That's one thing, balance of masculine and feminine, um, balance of night and day, balance of the inner life and the outer life. Um, but also, you know, we're coming up to the equinox and then we're moving closer to the solstice where that's you're going to be asked this is a really magical time to to go into meditation to go into an intent a state of intention so that you create you set you sow the seeds to create what you want for next year so we're really being asked well, well, come on come on guys start thinking about what you want to do for next year you know start all your juices flowing what what are, what's your dream yeah and, and this is very, very helpful for it because you can use your solar plexus, which is the place where you can exert your will or you find that you have no freedom and you have absolutely no will. Okay, so that there it is. You've got the, the positive and the negative there. Uh, and again, you know, what, what, what's kind of restricting. But also, come on guys, start thinking and start your juices flowing and start getting excited about it. And, and perhaps that will help to galvanize um, galvanize some dreams or some journaling for yourself yeah and you gain a greater understanding of what's going on inside you and therefore you can then just come, let it come into your consciousness and then start the start the ball rolling for creating s sowing the seeds and, and therefore allowing it to be created next year or even earlier so the next card is is really beautiful this is vivianite and it's a green looks like it's greenish yellow so it's working on the heart it's a beautiful heart stone as well helps very much with it's it seems it helps very much with with helping us to heal the heart and releasing resentment and releasing fear so maybe this thing about prosperity is there you know worries about is there going to be enough money and stuff like that um possibly however this is also the invitation to just start to release fear um lots of heart healing and 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 the joy which comes from releasing wounds releasing pain the cat wants to come in and releasing pain and the joy that comes you know from oh being able to be able to step out of that kind of that destructive cycle so vivianite is here to help us with that and the number 11 is is intensely creative intensely creative number double double numbers but one and one one is a double creative double creative okay so here we are vivianite working through the fear as well which tends to be stuck in the solar plexus which is the belly area and and also working with the heart so perhaps you may like to set the intention for gentle greater understanding gentle understanding of what's making you fearful and and also discovering that perhaps you know all that fear is really projection into the future it could be it could be um fear which is well founded you know if you got to run away from get out of a situation please do but sometimes a lot of it is we're projecting into the future and worrying about what could happen but we need to realize that it's not happening now so we can make some changes and change direction or make things right or go and get some help okay so there's going to be the invitation for heart healing release of fear all right so you may find that 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 the, the experiences will be encouraging that all right the final card for the three is blue tourmaline now first i looked at it and i thought it was black tourmaline but it's not it's blue tourmaline 
or in thick light and it's I think the tourmalins are absolutely wonderful crystals and they can be so clear the structure is amazing they're very different from quartz I've got some natural black tourmaline and I love the way they they're generally three-sided uh, and then they come to a, a point and you see the three sides is quite they're really quite interesting and I really love the tourmalins and here we have blue tourmaline which is wonderful for the throat it helps with the ears the throat and also the the eyes but very much to do with creativity so we have here a great boon from blue tourmaline um, helping us with our creativity uh, supporting us in that vision that we have expanding our minds to in, you know encompass more than we thought so not to be restricted by you know oh, can't do it and don't deserve it and got not enough money can't you know need more money to do it or or um, can't do that because it's not going to give me enough money perhaps sitting with with blue tourmalin might help to give you um, greater insight and greater energy um, greater expansion of the mind in seeing beyond what our, our you know what our ego is saying part of the ego what the ego might be saying might be kind of true but it might only be a half truth so we have to dig deeper go deeper within go deeper into into whatever that thought which is restricting us go deeper and find out well, where did this come from why is this coming up for me and and it, you know is it from my family line is it from me is it from a childhood experience and perhaps you may want to do some breath work or some meditation or get some help with reiki i do one-on-one -on -one treatments and there are lots of therapists around um and 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 then you know we can start a process of retrieving retrieving the parts of ourselves which have been severely traumatized or frightened by that and start bringing it back and reintegrating it through love and acceptance yeah and and i think this is yeah this this card is especially especially beautiful and especially helpful for it okay so the other two cards and the one from the herbal astrology <laughs> joy i mean citrine is also you know it's for me it's a very 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 joyful wonderful happy stone and here you we have a you know re reinforcement hibiscus it's the national flower of malaysia which is where i was born where i came from and this card is beautiful and she seems to be blowing these beautiful tendrils oops tendrils of gold um it's very very magical and you have a hummingbird as well which is so magical there and this lady has got beautiful drawings and you know the, 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 the there's a flower in the third eye truth and you can see that they are um more reflections of her as well it almost reminds me of some of the Hindu goddesses with uh, with more than one face, more than one aspect, and yeah, <laughs> these two cards go very, very, very well together. And I think we're being asked to investigate all the areas where joy can be experienced, all areas in your inner world, maybe through certain meditations or going for sound baths or gong baths and finding joy in that finding joy in relationships finding joy in mm, at work or and having you know feeling so so blessed with what you have now and so let us open ourselves up to receiving joy to experiencing even more joy to more even more magic it's just magical and plants are so amazing perhaps having some hibiscus tea with some honey and lemon and that might help you to 
enter into you know to com in communion with this beautiful flower it's really really gorgeous you get them in orange you get them in yellow but um and pink but the red yeah the red is wonderful and the final card which is from megan waterson's the mary magdalene oracle is the legacy love is always legendary and i love that that there's a gentleman there and a lady there and we were talking about coming up to the equinox and the balance of the masculine and the feminine we all have it whether you're born female or male we all have the this energy of masculine and feminine that's all it is love is always legendary so what as you think about what you want to create what would you like to leave behind what imprint would you like to leave with all your creations you know what it is, what is it what's the result of what you want to create and we're just asked to just let it come from love let it come from love love is always legendary okay so these are absolutely beautiful cards i'm getting such a wonderful flood of of loving energy from all of these cards even though i have spoken about the wounding and things to look at etc there's just so much help and so much support for ev for all of us you, you know and there is no judgment there's no judgment if you're a villain or you're a hero you there, there is support there you just have to choose to be open to it and it's the same with everything do we choose to be open to it do we choose to receive or we choose to go no 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 okay even when it's oh wonderful and um, and it's a banquet of the most amazing foods and and of the most loving and amazing people yeah it's up to us whether we would like to partake or not so thank you very much for joining me in this um, reading I hope it was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well if you like, just down there. And I will list out the decks which I've used. And yeah, have an absolutely amazing week. Bye for now. And namaste.